Hey everyone, how's it going? So you may have seen recently, I had a pretty successful Kickstarter. I sold around seven or 8,000 of these fidget spinners. Now, because there's a couple of options, people could either get them in ceramic or steel bearings. And because I wanted to make sure the bearings were good quality, I decided to install them myself. So what this means is that I've got, well, I ordered 15,000 fidget spinners and the bearings separately, so I have to install them myself. And I was thinking of just using a hand press to do this, but then I decided against that and I figured I don't know how to make stuff. So then I was looking online and it seems like pneumatic ones are like five to six thousand dollars are you serious so I'm just gonna make my own how hard could it be I know how to make stuff okay let's get to it all right so I've decided to make this project out of laser cut steel. I've had a lot of experience in designing tooling and jigs and fixtures in this way and it's really quite simple to do and it's pretty cool. So it's going to be laser cut steel that'll lock together and then you can pull, bolt it together. So start out with a laser cutting template to send the laser cutting place. So as you can see these are the individual parts. These are the sides the base, that's where the fixture is going to be and this will hold the pneumatic piston. So I'm also going to have a couple of 3D printed parts that I'll get from Shapeways as well. And the 3D printed parts are going to hold the bearing and the fidget spinner exactly where they need to be. Check it out. It works. It's fully assembled. Works really well. Had to make a few modifications. I moved uh, the magnet from the center of the bearing holder to the side so that it holds the bearing much better. Before it was pulling it like that. Now it holds it there. And I made a little relief here so that I could get, when they're stuck, I could get that out of there without hurting my nails. Just a small thing. It does seem to take on average around two uh, punches to get the bearing in because there's a, a crease from the parting line. When the part is made, the plastic injection mold, there's a parting line. And it's a little bit smaller in diameter there. I also put, obviously, two buttons so that I can't crush my hand in the system. Isn't that a sweet sound? Another cool thing is this insert you can obviously put different ones and it comes out really easily. So if I have different designs in the future, which I will, then I can swap them in. I'll install the center bearing at least. And I'm actually down to six seconds of bearing 
which is incredibly fast. I was anticipating like around 20 to 25 seconds, so should take no time at all. Yeah, still take a bit of time. Only cost me about $250 altogether with the parts. These things are pretty cheap. I think it cost me about 50 bucks, maybe 40. The steel cost 150 to get cut, and that's including the material. Then there's just these little valves. I think they're about 17 bucks. This one's kind of finicky. You can see that it's held together with these bolts. And then there's these reliefs here where the pieces go in. And it holds everything pretty well exactly where it needs to be. There you have it. You can build your own tools and I'm going to be doing more segments like this and showing you different techniques and yeah, I got to get back to installing bearings because that's my life until all these are shipped. Alright, everyone, you know the deal. Be good and have a good day.